Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome um, to the break. Um, I am back home. Uh, well, not really home, but I'm back at my parents' house in Green Bay. I came back. Um, I came back for Easter, so um, I decided to bring my cards or the cards that I'm doing for the break with me, as well as supplies. Uh, you know the typical supplies that I use. Um, for the breaks, so it's a <laughs> it's a little different. Um, if you are sort of new with me, um, the look of the break. This is <laughs> any team stuff. No, no, Kyle. Uh, all teams are paid for for this break. Um, but yeah, uh, this is uh, my parents' house um, in Green Bay. I'm I'm back home. So um, for Easter, so. Uh, Actually, um, it, it looks a little funny. I don't know if you could tell, but my phone is propped up. I'm propping my phone up right here for the break um, because uh, I forgot my, what is it? I forgot my stand, my card stand. Or not my card stand, my, um, well, I forgot my card stands too, dang it. I forgot my uh, um, camera stand to that I hold my camera on, so... I'm just propping my phone up on these boxes, which I've done it before. Um, I just forgot my stand. I always forget something every single time I come home. And that's what I forgot was my camera stand. Uh, so it's all good. Um, I have my phone propped up. It shouldn't be a big deal. So anyways, yes, I'm doing this break early. Uh, like what I said um, in the Facebook post, I... It is my grandpa's 100th birthday, so I came home for Easter, and today is his 100th birthday. They said that we were going to go over um, and have dinner with him and the family, so that is why I'm doing this early, um, which if you're watching it post-live, it's, it's literally not going to make a difference. Um, same cards are going to get pulled uh, at, no matter what time I do it. Except, I mean, the only thing, the only difference is if I was back in my apartment, um, I do let you guys choose your boxes, so I only have a couple of these. I actually ordered some more, but I would let you guys choose the mega box that we open, um, but since I knew that I was coming home and doing this break, I just grabbed a regular mega box. I didn't grab all of them, so, um... Otherwise, typically, I mean, typically, I do let you guys choose your boxes that you want for the break. Um, so, yeah. Otherwise, let it, it, it'd be the same cards open, opened. It's just you'd watch a post live, which is no big deal. Uh, I would assume and hope. If it is, my apologies. I'm sorry about that. Um, it occasionally does happen where I do, do breaks a little sooner or a little later. Um, but... Uh, at the end of the day, same cards are going to get opened, and same amount of fun, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to think, what advantages would you have to watching a break live? I don't know. I've I've been in many breaks, and watching it live, there's really no advantage to it, <laughs> I don't think. Um, it is nice, though, but a lot of people, though, a lot of people, I, I realize... This is probably my 200th break. Most people don't even watch it live. A lot of people watch it post-live anyways on YouTube while they're in bed. Uh, after they take care of the family, put the put the fam put the children to bed, you know. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'm. this break is a little early. It's supposed to be at 5. All teams are paid for. Uh, one team on e or one person on eBay did never paid. Their feedback on eBay actually has repetitive not paying feedback. So, uh, sort of that's what I expected. But everyone else paid, so I appreciate that on time. That's what I appreciate that. So, anyways, um, let me just grab a scissors and I will get started. I will get started with the break.
Okay, so rules on this break. Um, rule, rules on this break for college cards. So Prism draft picks. Uh, I send those cards to their current team. So whatever current team they're on, that's who they'll go to. Um, if they aren't on a team, so if they're retired or they're not playing, I send them to whoever they got drafted by. So like Tom Brady, for an example, I was sending Tom Brady to the Buccaneers when he was uh, during the season when he was on the Buccaneers. Then he retired for uh, a couple weeks, and then I sent him to the um, what team? The Patriots, because that's because that's who he got drafted by. If they're not playing, I send them to whoever they got drafted by, and then. He's back on the Buccaneers, so Tom Brady will once again go to the Buccaneers now. Um, so that's how I do with my college cards since it's Prism Draft Picks. Um, what else? If there's any Panini points, I will random.org it. Uh, so that's just a list randomizer, and I will random it off. Um, what else? I don't think that there's a whole lot else, uh, but if I'm missing anything, I will cover it. This is my first playbook mega I'm opening, and I'm super excited. I like to include a mega in my break. Um, I will show the team names, and then uh, oh, I can't, I can't flip it. All right, I'll keep it like this then. So here's the team names, and I have what all the teams sell for. So I put it next to your name what it sold for. And then I calculate the money at that bottom, and this is not what I'm getting. I'm not getting 495.71, but um, I I do say this in all my breaks. I uh, include the or I add up what, whatever the break brings in. So I add everything up, up together, and I calculate how much money the break makes. Um, there's eBay fees if you didn't know. Most I mean everyone should know that, but there's eBay fees. Uh, they take out some money. And then there's uh, shipping fees and shipping, you know, everything. So I add up everything that I put into the break. So the product um, is, like, this break is about 250 to 300 I, I think closer to $300 worth of product. So I add up every everything I put into the break for product-wise. And then I buy my supplies brand new. So I buy my supplies um, fresh. They're brand new. I put money into the... Uh, the supplies also so for an example every single time i stock up on supplies i spend a good 80 ish dollars 80 to 100 bucks uh just to get supplies card supplies and i spend another 80 to 100 bucks to get some bubble mailers uh i even factor in tape that i pay for so i factor in everything that i put into my breaks and if i don't at least break even then i will cancel my breaks I've only had to do it a couple times. Both those times, I had about three hundred dollars worth of product because that's about what I like to keep my uh, breaks at. And after all the listings, it on I only would have got a hundred fifty dollars after eBay fees and shipping. So I literally would have lost a hundred fifty dollars, and that's just not worth it to me. Obviously, um, so I canceled the break. I only had to do it twice. Hopefully, I'll never have to do it again. But I do do it uh, just because I've done many breaks where i've basically broken even and i sh i shown proof um but where or like i might make 20 bucks on a break which is nothing but I, I i'll gladly do a break and continue to do a break that doesn't really make a whole lot of money um or that breaks even at least that's all i really care about as long as i'm not in the negative because it's just what it makes sense right to do a break and just be in the negative if there's any additional money that it, i make from a break it's greatly appreciated um but also another thing is i put in i i put in about six hours for every break i do uh that includes making the listings doing the video doing the break and then sorting shipping the cards so I put in a lot of time and effort to do breaks and just to lose uh, some money and um, do all the work, it just won't be worth it to me. And a lot of people are like, well, if you take the risk to make money, you should also lose, be able to be okay with losing money. Well, the thing that I have to say with that, the combat thing I have to say with that is uh, I'm okay with breaking even, but not losing money because no one's, no one's going to... Give a, I mean, if, if I lost money, I would literally go bankrupt, and it just wouldn't make sense. <laughs>
So I wouldn't do it to I wouldn't do breaks to go bankrupt. If I wanted to take the risk on these cards, I'd just open them myself. But um, that's my stance on it. Um, nine, I'd say 95, 99% of people agree with me and understand that. But I just say that now in all my breaks because I have had to do it a couple times, twice, and I don't want to let anyone down if it does happen again. But anyways, we are not worried. I'm not worried about that with this brick, obviously. Um, also, another thing, the more money that the breaks do make, the more generous I am with supplies. And since this break made... I'd say a decent amount of money. I am going to be very generous with supplies. Um, I did, I did, I brought uh, enough supplies. I think more than enough supplies. But hopefully, otherwise, I'm gonna have to go to the store or take some from my dad upstairs. Um, because as I said before, I'm I'm back home, so I just brought stuff that I needed for this break, this one break that I'm doing. Typically, I do two in a weekend. This weekend, I'm doing one because I'm back home. Um, also, I'm gonna be back home next weekend. Next weekend is my great-grandpa's birthday party. This weekend, I just came back for Easter, so... I don't know why they didn't have his birthday party this weekend. But anyways, um... That's the rules uh, of the break. That's, uh... A little bit about... Okay, I'm watching the video. Video is good to go. Uh, that's a little bit about my... Oh, yeah. I, I, I typically say a little bit about myself, so... Um... In case you stick with me, or in case you were just wondering... Um, I am 23 years old. I'm a PE teacher. I moved out on my own. So as I said before, I'm back at my parents' house. Uh, I was here uh, in the fall to the winter. I was student teaching here. And then I moved out on my own. I'm a PE teacher. So um, I moved out on my own about an hour and a half, two hours away over by Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and I'm in Green Bay right now. So um, anyways, I moved out on my own. I'm a PE teacher, and any money I make is greatly appreciated. It's going to help me support myself because <laughs> I now have to pay for rent for myself, which is not cheap. But also, if there's any money I make, it in the short run, it goes back into uh, the, the hobby or the breaking. So it goes back into buying more products because I will literally drop one $2,000 $2, on cards and supplies a, a day, sometimes every other day. I mean, sometimes... Uh, most of the time, I it's about once a week that I spend, I don't know, I'd say on average probably 500 bucks a week spending money on cards and supplies, but um, sometimes it's about $1,000 a day, sometimes two, and then I don't spend much money for a week or two. But anyways, um, so in the big picture also, uh, one thing that I, I, I like to show off a little bit um, but I am a Packers season ticket holder, so my grandpa just transferred two of his four uh, tickets into my name this season. Um, he just got them four years ago. And um, one second, I'm going to find it. He just got them four seasons ago. And um, he uh, transferred two of them into my name, two of them into my aunt's name. Because he doesn't have a cell phone and all the tickets are mobile. So I said, heck yeah, I'll take them. So um, I owe him $4,200 for the l ticket licensing fee. Uh, he said I could pay that back whenever and I don't have to pay it off all at once. But any money I make is going to that. And it's also going to pay for the tickets each year. So just to show you guys, I'm 23 years old, as I said before. Um, it's pretty sweet to be a season ticket holder for the Packers. Um, I've got the green season package. So what this is, is this gets six games and one preseason. So 16, 26. That is just for the tickets alone. Uh, I, I covered up my seat numbers. I mean, I don't really think that matters, but I just covered it up just because. Um, but yeah, so that's where, <laughs> that's where my money's going to. It's going to uh, my season tickets. So most of it's going to my grandpa, who... I, I he he paid twenty one hundred dollars per seat. That's how much it costs for the t ticket licensing fee, and um, I have two t tickets, so that's forty two hundred dollars. Alright. So, uh, if you ever want to go to a pack game, I've helped out people in my break actually get tickets. But if you ever want to go to a pack game, I myself have tickets, and I know many people who do also. And another thing, I do collect game worn memorabilia. Game worn memorabilia, so um, 
Uh, I'm, I'll just try to explain this as quick and short as possible, but basically exactly what, like, Kyler is wearing here, his jersey, his pants, or um, anything, his helmet even, cleats, gloves. He's not wearing gloves. Um, but I collect game more memor memorabilia, so... I actually worked at a factory that made the players' pants, jerseys, and hand warmers. Uh, that is not far from Green Bay here. Um, so I have a lot of cool stuff for sale. I've got Eagles hand warmers, like real authentic hand warmers that are made for the players. Um, they're on my eBay, actually, but I'm selling those for 30 bucks a piece. If anyone's an Eagles fan or just anyone's interested to use them because... The fake ones from China, literally, if you were to go to Dick's even and buy a, a hand warmer, it would be about 30 bucks. But this is a real authentic one for the players, so it's made with the best quality stuff. Um, it, I got my hands on them because when we, when we made them, they were the wrong color scheme or something, wrong style, I forget. But um, I've got about 15 of them left. I, I sold about half of them, but I still have 15 left. Uh, I also have some Packer game worn stuff like game pants that I'm selling on my eBay. Um, I buy Packer game worn stuff straight from the team. So um, I also have a lot of other cool stuff. I sold a lot of things in my breaks like patches that I got from the factory. But I, I'm out of most things. But I still do have some stuff. So if you're interested, let me know your favorite team or even just uh, check out my eBay. See what I have. So anyways, we'll get started with the break. Uh, I also forgot my mat, so I forgot my camera uh, camera stand and my mat. So, um, anyways, we are going to be just fine with this break with what I do have. So, it, it is quite interesting, though. It's I, I've got my hand up here and my hand down here because I... I've got my phone propped up like what I said. Anyways, here we go with the break. If I do for miss something that you like specifically sleeved or top loaded, just let me know also, please. All right. Anyways, here we go. Julio Jones, Travis Kelsey, all base cards will get shipped to base more than likely. Terry McLaurin, all rookies and parallels will get sleeved and the hits will get top loaded. JJ Watt, uh, Safan Diggs, Michael Thomas, Frank Gifford, T. Higgins, Michael Strahan. Hold on, I'm gonna put it. All right, there we go. It's good to go on my laptop. Uh, Devontae Adams, Sam Darnold, Khalil Mack, Joey Boza, Calvin Ridley, DJ Moore, Sam Ellinger. I'm gonna top of this one because he's a quarterback. Zeke Elliott. A.J. Brown, Zeke will get sleeved, Barry Sanders, Tom Brady, Joe Mixon, Derek Carr, Justin Tucker, Teddy Bridgewater, Jerry Rice, J.T., T.J. Watt, Zeke Elliott, Lamar Jackson, and Aaron Donald. All right, so that's the first pack. I will do the next pack next. I will say I'm excited because I'm almost out of these elite packs. Um, I throw, I've throw, i been throwing two elite packs in all my breaks, or most of my breaks lately. Um, I'm excited that they're almost gone. I think I only have four left after this break. Uh, I had about, like, 60, but now I'm down to four. Um, I love Donruss. Donruss is my favorite line of products, so I love Donruss Elite. I love Donruss plain dinosaurs and i love optic optic is my favorite but the thing is i also really like playbook I, or pl not play playoff i didn't realize that until i started opening it and doing breaks but i really like playoff but anyways um i'm excited that this is almost done because uh these um packs because a there's they were s like 20 bucks a pack almost and they've got only one rookie and one parallel in each pack. Like, really? Like, come on. <laughs> come on. I mean, they should have, these should have been, like, eight bucks. Like, what, with the price increase, how packs at Walmart that used to be, like, four bucks are now eight. This should, this should have been eight, not 17. Come on. Tyreek Hill, uh, Chase Young. 
Matt Ryan. I didn't know that, though, when I got them all at once, but <laughs> eventually I found out, and then I was like, well, that sucks. Justin Jefferson. I mean, there's there's still a fun rip. It's just one rookie and one parallel. That's just Taylor Enneke, Brandon Cooks, Jimmy Garoppolo, T. Higgins, Michael Strahan, Devontae Adams again, Sam Darnold, Khalil Mack, Joey Boza, Joe Montana, the rookie is Penny Sewell. Jerry Rice. Matthew Safford. Tom Brady. Von Miller. That's his second Tom Brady, I think. The first one was the Patriots. Julian Edelman. DJ Moore. Josh Jacobs. Marquise Brown. Dan Marino. Josh Allen. Alvin Kamara. Brett Favre. That's who I was named after. Darius Leonard. Russell Wilson, and C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb, this back C.D. is a little dinged up on the bottom left, just so you know. So Cowboys, don't don't, uh, don't expect that to be any – well, I mean, I could try to make it straighter than what it is, but don't expect that to be a crisp card is what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm going to top of this, Sam Ellinger. I'm actually running super low on – Basically everything you see in front of me. I've got... I think this is the last Prestige Blaster. If not, I have two more that is for next week. In one of my breaks next week. This is the last... Or... This is, like, the last playoff hanger I've got. Except for the one that's next week. So... I already have that listed. So after this break... I've got two more of these left after this week. I've got a bunch of playoff blasters left. I've got quite a few play playbook megas. I just got some playbook megas actually from Walmart. So um, I've got some from Target and some from Walmart. I like throwing a play or uh, mega in all my breaks, no matter what. At least one mega. So I stocked up from the ones from Walmart. Oh my gosh, this is this is a tough blaster. There we go. Um, what else? Prism draft picks. I've only got... This is either it, or I've only got two more of those also. So, basically, playbook and playoff. The playbook megas and playoff blasters are the only two things that I've got a, actually a lot of. Or not a lot, but a, quite a bit of. Everything else I'm almost out of, which is crazy. Empty box. I mean, I didn't realize that I went through Prestige that fast, but actually lately, the past, like, I'd say the past three of the five breaks, I think we got a patch card out of the Blasters of Prestige, so. Saving all the good stuff for last with Prestige. I think we're still waiting on an auto, and I've had, I've opened about 80 of those Prestige Blasters, so. <laughs> we better be getting an auto, um... For Prism Draft Picks Blasters, I've opened probably about um, 100 at least, 150, I don't know, 120, 100, and I've only gotten two on campuses. One was Zach Wilson, one was um, Najee Harris, and Chuck Jones, he's in this break, or Charles, he got, he got the Zach Wilson, and he's broke with me ever since. So that that was I was super excited when we got that. That was my first on campus I opened. I've been waiting I was waiting so long for that, but honestly, there should be at least one more, so we'll see. We'll see if we get another one. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt or I wouldn't be shocked if another on campus came out this break or next break when I when it's officially the last of the product that I have. Hello Chuck. <laughs> You're watching. Aziz Ajulari, I typically don't, s well, here, I don't know. I tip Yeah, I typically don't sleeve all rookies, all right, out of this product. But since this break, you guys paid decent money for this break. I will sleeve all, all rookies no matter what. Uh, Zach Wilson, he's getting top-loaded. Jalen Waddell. Uh, Trey Sermon and... Rondell Moore, this is silver. I will topple that one for you. 
Is that coming out early? Heck yeah, he is. <laughs> I was going to say, that's... I've had a lot of good luck with Zach Wilson lately. Is this an... Oh, it looks like an auto. I'll put that down. Save that for last. I don't even know who that could be. But yeah, I, I was going to say with this stuff, I'd say uh, a third of the blasters have an auto from my experience. So autos are pretty common. It's just finding one that you actually know who it is. Um, I st I'm still waiting to find an auto who I know who it is. Pat Fumuth, uh Elijah Molden, Kenneth Gainwell, Mac Jones, there we go, top load, and Larry Rotre. He'll just get sleeved. I was trying to catch a glimpse of the team of the auto, but I couldn't see. Is that Justin Fields? I think it is. Dimitri Felton. Shabba Hubbard. Patrick Sertain. Justin Fields. And Travis Etienne. I will top of that for you. Jacksonville also. Typically, I wouldn't, but for this break, since, like what I said, you guys, I mean, breaks are, any money I make is greatly appreciated, but if you guys pay good money, I will treat your cards super well. Rondell Moore, Terrence Marshall Jr., even ones that I wouldn't personally top load for myself, I'll top load them for you. Kyle Trask, Sean Wade, and Mac Jones, wow, that one's silver also. Spectra. Got three packs left, and then I will show that auto. Dang it, I wish I had my stands. I forgot the stands, too. Devonta Smith, Najee Harris, again. Shatarius Tattoo Atwell, and Najee Harris. This was a Najee pack. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was straight up Najee. Ooh, another auto? Oh my gosh. Two autos? Wow, that's that's good. <laughs> I don't think I I don't think I've ever had that happen before. I've I'll top of this Jamar. I've had mm, quite a few breaks where I've done uh, I I think every single break I've done, I've done two of these um blasters in a break. And I typically get one auto more than likely, otherwise sometimes I get none. I've never this this is my first time getting two. Wow, that's that's sweet. Greg Rasu. Najee Harris, Travis Etienne, and Trey Lance will top load him. I'm gonna top load these quick and then I will reveal those autos. So I'm gonna top load I top load all the top load cards on cards that I will top load on camera so you guys can see. So yeah. Like what I was saying before, these, uh, these um, sleeves and top loaders and these supplies are brand new. I paid, I paid quite. A, I, I don't pay a, a ton because my card shop is has some pretty nice uh, prices, like a buck for sleeves. But I, I, I just stock up. Like, I buy so much. I'll buy, like, 20 th packs of sleeves. I'll buy... He actually has a limit on top loaders because um, he's not super cheap, but he's the cheapest in town, so he has to a limit on top loaders. But I, I just buy my maximum, and it still always comes out to 180, 100 bucks every single time I go in. So, and I and I go in uh, every two ish months. So that's like forty bucks a month. Forty bucks a month, and then um, I do about I don't know six seven breaks a month. So I estimated to about ten bucks for supplies that I put in each break. Just for card supplies. Um, other supplies like tape, um, bubble mailers, I would say. Oh my gosh. I'm top loading a lot. I am, I am though. I'm going to top load a lot during this break. Um, any uh, 
All right, so what else? Supplies, like shipping supplies. Another good 10, 20 bucks. So whatever product I, um, so whatever the product total is, I just added another 30, 40 to the total and that covers my supplies, my other miscellaneous supplies, I should say. Dang, nice. All right, anyways, which one do we do first? Which one do we do first? I will do the first auto that was shown first. All right. I'll put the auto in the back. Cow pits. Trey Lance. I'll top load him. Jamar Chase. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice hit. Rondell Moore and Stevie Scott. Stevie Scott. I'm going to look him up, make sure that he's on a team with this other auto. Because I've only had to do it twice, but there's been instances where I've got autos from guys that haven't been on a team. And I literally had to random the card off. Because I'm not going to, if if he's if this Stevie Scott isn't on a team, I'm not going to keep him. I'm going to random him off to one of you guys. So... Any card that is open, I'm going to send it to someone. I forgot to mention also, like, Jamie Newman. He's not on a team, but I sent him to the Eagles because uh, that's who he was with for, like, a week. So after I open this next auto, I'm going to look. I can make sure that they both have been on a team. I think Stevie Scott was on a team, though. If I remember, I think I got his auto once before. Jalen Waddle. Oh, I didn't put it in the back. Pete Warner, dang it. Pete Warner is a um, other auto. Shoot, I, should, I forgot to put him in the back. Whatever. Kenneth Gainwell, Jamonte Williams, and Amon Ross St. Brown. All right, I'm going to look these two guys up quick. I feel like I opened a Pete Warner auto before also. But I'm just going to look them up quick, double check, otherwise I'm, I'll random them off to you guys. TV. Yeah, I, I looked him up before. Let's see what team is he on. Stevie Scott. New Orleans Saints. So the Saints got a hit with the Stevie Scott and Pete Werner. Pete Werner. Let's see. It's loading. My Wi-Fi here is not as good as it is at my apartment. Saints? Two Saints? Saints, you got two hits. Nice. Who got who got the Saints? Who got the Saints? <laughs> Saints just got two autos. Brett M. Hey, nice name. Nice name. I'm glad that you got these hits. No, no. <laughs> but nice name. All right, so all these other ones are going to get sleeved. All right, here we go. We'll do the playoff, playoff uh, hanger next. I do like playoff. I think playoff is very sweet. I like the design of it. I mean, it's obviously a paper stock. But, well, I mean, they all have paper, but it's a thin paper stock. But I think that the de design is sweet. And I also do like that. Uh, every I haven't opened up any packs yet. I have a bunch of packs, but I do like that every uh, hanger and blaster comes with some thicker stock cards too, so it's a mix. I I, I really like that. I haven't got an auto, or I don't even know if what a case hit is, but I don't know. I don't even know if I got a case hit out of any of these hangers yet. And after this, I think I only have two left that are for the break that I just posted for next week. Um, anyways, Drew Lock. I'd skip to the hits, but it's just one. It's this is just one hanger. Tyler Boyd, Henry Ruggs, T.J. Watts, Tremaine Edmonds, T.J. Chark, Chris Henderson, Melvin Gordon, Jesse Bates, Michael Pittman Jr., Stephon Gilmore. 
uh, OBJ, Keenan Allen, David Johnson, Zamin Howard, Joe Mixon, Josh Jacobs, Eric Ebron, Tua Tagula, whatever, James Robinson, Michael P. Ryan, uh, John Elway. Is my video quality good? On my laptop, it's showing up a little blurry, but I want to make sure that it's good. I'm on... My my parents' Wi-Fi is not that great. I hope the, the, I hope the quality is... It looks like it's good now on my laptop. I don't know. If it's blurry, let me know. I'll see if I can fix it. Warren Sapp. Tyrell Williams. Brandon Ayuk. Dalvin Cook. Demarcus Lawrence, Jamie's Winston, Logan Thomas, Chase Edmonds, Romeo Acora. The video quality. So is is it blurry though? And is it decent? Is it decent enough? Can you at least tell what it is? DJ Moore. If you need anything repeated or if you want anything to be shown again, I can do that. DK Metcalf, Russell Gage, Jalen Hurts, Mike Evans, Darnell Mooney, Matt Ryan. On occasion, it's blurry. Okay. I won't go so fast, and I think that that might be why it's blurry. Darius Slayton, Cameron Jordan, um, Andy Dalton, Matthew Stafford. Here we go with the rookies. Jalen Phillips, Cal Pitts, Trayvon Morig, Terrence Marshall Jr., Chauncey Golson, Sam Ellinger, I'll top on him, Dak Prescott, T.Y., James White, George Kittle. Wow, is that a printing? That's a printing line on a paper card. Wow. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> I was like, is that a creased card? No, that's... I don't know if you can see it. That's a printing line on the bottom. Can you see there? Wow. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that on a paper uh, stock card before. Harrison Smith. Emmett Smith. Uh, Nico Collins, Greg Newsom, Mac Jones, nice. Thunder and Lightning, Nick Chubb and OBJ, Kellen Mond, and behind the numbers, Stefan Diggs. How many cards? We got three top loaded cards in that from that hanger. I top load any rookie QB, no matter what, anyways. Sam Ellinger, not the biggest of names, but a quarterback. And Mac Jones. This one's even got some... Cool letter, uh, lettering. It's is that blue lettering or is that purple? I think that's blue lettering. So that's even a variation of some sort. Anyways, um, we'll do the prism draft picks next. See if we get an on campus here. Another one, a final one maybe. If not here, whenever my next break is with this. Then maybe there. That's the reason why I got so much of this. I, I I just kept ordering it and ordering it, trying to get it on campus. That never came, and I've op opened literally about a hundred of them, at least. If, an, if there is an on-campus well, I hope it comes out of this one. This break is this break. I'll, t 
take that Lance's time. You have... Do you have San Francisco? You do, yes. You have San Fran this, this break. I, I, that is good for you. I'm glad that you took San Fran because Trey Lance, I think he's, I think he's going to be the guy. You'll take the Lance this time. Trey Lance on campus. Already. Or a Trey Lance auto. All right, first blaster. Yes, get that Trey Lance on campus. Uh, Jacob Eason. Ooh, dang it. I saw the silver, and I thought it would be an on campus. Uh, James Conner, DeAndre Swift. Shoot, not even a rookie. Caleb Farley and Micah Parsons. Got a green here, Russell Wilson, Julian Edelman, Nick Chubb, Marquez Stevenson, and Zach Wilson. You're the Jets too, right? I assume. Let me check. Yeah, you got the Jets too. Wouldn't that be something if we actually did get a Trey Lance on campus? Tyler Boyd, Josh Jacobs, Mike Parsons, top load him, Jamar Chase, top load him, and top load. <laughs> Jets, Eagles, 49ers. I thought your team was the uh, Colts. You pass up on the Colts this break. Miles Sanders. George Kittle, Joseph Asai, top of him, Dills Moses, and Travis Etienne. I top load all rookie parallels. Got the purple, Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes, Derrick Henry, Najee, Kadarius Tony, and the purple is Joe Mixon. I can't overpay for them. What did the Colts go for? Oh yeah, Colts went for Colts went for quite a bit this break. Next break though, well the one that I just uh, listed, um, it's, it's the one that I typically do. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, t uh, where was it? Oh, yeah, the, the break that I just listed, it's the one that I do with Mosaic. So it's got three Mosaic hangers, um, blasters, whatever. The one that I've been doing for the last three weeks, I just listed that same one again. And then um, I'm taking my Packers again for that break. I didn't take my Packers for this break. I'll take my Packers in one break a week, so, and since this is the only break I'm doing this week, I figured I'm not going to take the Packers this break. All right, last pack of that blaster. Juju, Kyler Murray, CD Lamp. Pat Fumuth and Joseph Fields. 
Justin Fields. I'll be honest with you. Whoever has Jacksonville, I'll be honest with you. It's been a very, very long time since I have had even decent luck with Justin Fields. And I'm saying that because I hope to turn it around this break because with the looks of it, it's not looking the greatest, obviously. I've had very decent luck with Mac Jones and um, just uh, Zach Wilson, but not really Justin Fields. Todd Gurley, Trey, uh, Terry McLaurin, T Tyson Campbell, Tylen Wallace, and Jamar Chase. Devin Cook, Tyler Lockett, Terrence Marshall Jr., Tyler Vons, and Quiddy Pay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Packers typically about a um, $10, $15 team on average for my breaks. So there's not nothing too great with the Packers in my breaks for this year's product, but uh, Carson Wentz. I mean, if if you are strictly only a Packer fan, like like what I'm doing, I'm only collecting Packer cards. So I'm actually selling all my other team cards. So if you're interested in a specific team, let me know, and I'll let you know what cards I have of that team. Um, Chuck bought the Colts off me and. I forget who it was. Someone else bought the Vikings off me. Larry Fitzgerald, Kirk Cousins, Tyson Campbell, and Terrence Marshall Jr. I I am running a... I mean, I, since I am selling all my cards, just trying to get rid of my collection besides Packers, I am doing deals on the lots, by the way. Dang it. Silver. Thought it was going to be an on-campus. Matt Ryan, Garner Minshew, Travis Etienne. At least it was a rookie. Carlos Basham and Jamie Newman. Jamie will be going to the Eagles. And no, one more pack left. The next packs could be the purples, so we can conclude. No on campus for this break. Dang it. Shoot. Brandon Ayuk, Lamar Jackson, Miles, Mike Evans. Joseph Asai and Micah Parsons. I'll be honest with you, this second blaster was not that great. Dang it. That happened, so it's a break. Aaron Jones. Julio Jones. Joe Mixon. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, less than half the times is the purple a rookie. Justin Fields, though, and Dylan Moses. So... Just feels so pit is picking up. Something that uh well while I was thinking about it, um that I was sort of mentioning before with the price of breaks, you know, keeping the price in mind. Um, it's good to have, like, a price to keep in mind for breaks, but bre doing breaks are, no matter what, uh, huh, I think that breaks are an amazing deal, and just amazing. Whoever, I don't know who the first person to do them was, but um, whoever the first person to invent a break, they were super smart, because for you guys, uh, you guys are paying a fraction of the cost. So whatever it is, like eight, ten, even fifteen bucks, a fraction of the cost for the only specific team that you care about. So for me, like what I said, I only care about the Packers. So you're paying, you know, eight, ten, fifteen bucks or whatever, and shipping's at cost. I'm not making any money on shipping, so shipping is just at cost. That's just something that you have to pay for um you're paying a fraction of the cost for the specific team that you want and i am making whatever i make 
but it's well earned because I'm sorting out the cards so that you can get whatever team you want. And also, like, let's say they're chasing a Trevor Lawrence, right? You could either, like, you could either spend the whatever $200, $300 worth of money of your own money on product, or you can just join a break, spend a fraction of the cost, and then at the end of the day, you're going to have the same results on what's open. I mean, whether you buy the product off of me or... Um, or you watch me open it live in a break. And then and then at the end of the day, whatever comes out of this box or these boxes comes out, but um, you're just paying a fraction of the cost for whatever you care about. And then you can be in multiple breaks for the price of you can be in like five breaks for the price of one product. If you only care about the, getting a Trevor Lawrence, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. Christian Wilkins, Brandon Cooks, Quentin Nelson, Darren Waller, Nico Collins, Montez Sweat, Sony M Michael, and Chase Claypool. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if I, you quite understood that, but breaks are pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really think about it at first when I was doing breaks, but then I thought about it, and then I was like, wow, it actually is a good deal. I mean. You're paying a fraction of the cost for whatever you care about. And then you can enter in a lot of breaks. That's, I think, what a lot of people do. No offense, Matthew Stafford, DeAndre Swift, uh, Jermaine Edmonds, Kellen Mond, I'll top load him, Garner Minshew, Ronald Jones, and Kenyon Drake. How I got into breaking was I was, I participated, I participated in breaks. Random teams, though. I liked doing random teams, but I participated in a ton of breaks, and, and I was like, hey, I should try this out myself, and this was a year ago when I was getting my hands on some products like NBA Prism, and that was the big thing, Phil Lindsay, Jamie Collins, Dak Prescott. Um, who's this? Plaxico Burris. I don't know if I said that right. Trevor Lawrence, there you go. Like, this just a base. DJ Chark, Chris Godwin, and Darren Waller. At least you got just a base. Send that into PSA, have it come back at 10, and you might make your money back. Or SGC, I don't know. Whatever is the safest one, or not uh, cheapest one. Joe Burrow, Laramie Tunsil, JT, um, Jalen Camp, Patrick Sertain, Brendan Ayuk. David Bakhtiari and Dalvin Cook. Got three more packs left. That one's going to the Jags, so I mean... You could sell all the other Jags that you, you get to besides Trevor Lawrence. Is this a Joe Burrow? I think that's Joe Burrow. Wait, no. That's got to be a rookie. I don't know who that is. And Trey Lance. That's Trey Lance, I think. Saquon, Carson Wentz, Drew Locke, Trey Lance. I saw the Bison. Trayvon Morig, Bobby Wagner, Justin Jefferson, and Cam Newton. That's a nice Trey Lance. I like those cars, actually. The season screenings. Cam Makers. Jeff Akuda, Stefan Diggs, uh, Henry, Great to Bills, Rondell Moore, TJ Watt, James Robinson, and oh my gosh, this card, that corner is just not, okay, that's 
Don't send that one in to get graded. That letter for nets. Bradley Chubb, Khalil Mack, Zeke Elliott, Larry Fitzgerald, Kadarius Tony, Tom Brady, Derek Carr, and Chris Carson. Last pack of Siege. Jermaine Edmonds, T. Higgins. Uh, Jarvis Landry, 170 out of 299. Darius Leonard, Kylan Hill going to my Packers. Devontae, Dallas Goddard, and Quinnen Williams. I get top of these quick. And then we're going to move on to the playoff blasters. See if we can get an auto out of those. I've opened, I think, four of them so far and haven't got an auto. So I don't know how common autos are. I think they're case hits and a case is like... Actually, I think a case... Or not a case, but I think autos were coming one out of every 10 of those, I think. If not, one out of every 20. But I think one out of every 10. We'll see, this will be blaster number five and six, so. According to the odds, we shouldn't have an auto, but could, never know. 10% chance, I think, if it's one out of every 10. Empty box. Gonna open this one. I think though that any blaster that comes with an auto or a mem card is worth it. Oh my gosh, this one is tough to open. This one, this one is super tough to open, oh my gosh. I don't know if you could even see the case number. I try to show it. Empty box. Alrighty, we will see. I don't know if there's a auto or a patch. I think this that might be a patch. I don't know. I will shuffle them up. These are actually tough to tell if it's not a patch. Alrighty, Henry Ruggs. TJ Watts, Tremaine Edmonds, Evan Ingram, Drew Brees, Allen Robinson, Kadarius Tony, and Rookie Waves, Michael Carter. Chris Johnson, Joe Burrow, Derek Carr, Darnell Mooney, Matt Ryan, Darius Slayton, Ernest Jones, Peyton Manning, Kidder Porter. Was there not a... Oh, he is a rookie. I was going to say, was there not a rookie? Von Miller. Chad Johnson, Marcus Allen, Jalen Regor, Chris Godwin, David Montgomery, Jay-Z Horn, and Greg Newsom. Oh, that's a patch. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down. Oop. Avalanche of cards. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on. Um, then I'm going to save the patch for last.
finish up this blaster and then go, well, besides the patch, and then go to the next blaster. Jesse Bates, Michael Pittman Jr., Stefan Gilmore, Russell Gage, Jalen Hurts, Mike Evans, Trey Sermon, Thunder Lightning, Lamar Jackson, Marquise Brown. Chase Claypool, Janavius White, Peyton Manning, Cameron Jordan, Andy Dalton, Riley Stafford, Irmu Smith-Marset, and Khalil Mack. Kendra Porter, G.J. Chark, Chris Henderson, Got Jaguars in the back. Melvin Gordon. Cooper Cup. Aaron Jones. DK Metcalf. Pete Warner. There. We got an Oz we got his auto before. Behind the numbers, Travis Etienne. Top of these two quick. And then I'm going to go over to the other blaster, and then the last two packs I open of this stuff will be either both the patches or the patch and then the auto, whatever it is. I'm going to shuffle these up. I'm going to open this one for this pack first because this pack is very strange. <laughs> Michael P. Ryan, John Elway, Baker Mayfield, Calvin Ridley, Kyler Murray, TJ Hawkinson, Aziz Ajulari, and Paul Adebo, or Paulson Adebo, I never heard of him. Saints are actually doing pretty decent this break. That, like, never happens. Peter Porter, Henry Ruggs, TJ Watts, Tremaine Edmonds, Logan Thomas, Chase Edmonds, Romeo Acora, uh, Malcolm Kuntz, Robbie Anderson. Kendrick Porter, Von Miller, Chad Johnson, Marcus Allen, Warren Sapp, Ty Tyrell Williams, Brandon Ayuk, Chris Evans, and by the numbers, Heinz Ward. Four packs left. Randy Moss, Drew Locke, Tyler Boyd, Dalvin Cook, Marcus Lawrence, Jamie Swinson, Peyton Turner, and Stefan Diggs. Like what I said, Saints. Wow. I would have never thought. They got both the autos. They've got quite a few rookies. They're not doing too bad. <laughs> T. Higgins, Darren Waller, Minka Fitzpatrick, uh, Michael Thomas. Antonio Gibson, T JJ Watts, Monty Rice, and Rookie Waves, Terrence Marshall Jr. We got two packs left of this, and I think I put the bottom card or the, the bottom pack. I think the bottom pack is a patch, but I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's a patch. So I think I could tell with that pack. So I think we got two packs here. Oh, this one's red. Let's see if it's numbered. The last red one I opened was numbered. Bruce Smith, Alicia Chenault, Quinn and Williams, Barry Sanders, Fred Warner, Brian Dawkins, Ian Book, wow. and Aaron Rodgers, behind the numbers. This one is not numbered. The last red one I opened was numbered. Interesting. 
Nice hit going to the Packers, though, still. I like that card. I'm actually get top on that one. And it looks like we got two patches then. We'll do this patch first. I haven't touched. This patch is at the back of the card, or back of the pack. Justin Herbert, Randall Cobb, Jerry Judy, George Kittle, Harrison Smith, Emmett Smith, Davis Mills, and it's a rookie, Vikings, Keen Nwangu, is that his name? Yep, Keen Nwangu. Keen Nwangu from the Vikings. Terrible team, terrible card. Keen Nwangu. At least it's a rookie, though. I don't think that these are all rookies. Keen Nwangu. Alright, last pack, which is the patch. Got a kid report in the back. Randy Moss. Drew Locke. Tyler Boyd. Cam Akers. Brett Favre. Zeke Elliott. Trevor Lawrence. Nice. And this one's <laughs> Saints. Dude, the Saints fan. Ian Book. Oh my gosh. The Saints for this break. <laughs> That's usually what happens though, is if uh if a team is doing super hot, they will <laughs> I've noticed that. Putting him in that one. Alright. Mega box. This is the first mega box. I'm opening of playbook. So I hope it's good. I heard a lot of mixed reviews on this. So it comes with four packs. And one of them is a patch card, I think. I don't know. Russell Wilson. Oh, these are... I like these. Shai Smith. Top line of that. Zach Wilson. Jalen Camp. And... Dwayne Eskridge. These are interesting cards. Carson Wentz. Derrick Henry, Kyle Trask next up, Patrick Jones, and Rondell Moore playbook, uh, Cardinal, oh yes that's right, I, I see now, all the veterans are the same color and all the rookies are their team color, I remember that, Terry McLaurin, Adam Thielen, Ronald Jones, Q 
Joaquin Nwangu and Chris Evans. This is the last pack. And it is a patch. Henry Ruggs. Next up, Najee Harris. Jam Jamin Davis, Jam I think. Jamin Davis. Tyron Matthew. And EMO. GG EMO. Who is this? Jets. Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore is a patch. Gridiron Gear. Is it worn? It's not from any specific game or event. Oh my gosh. But the bottom of this card, it's like peeling. Oh, that's covering it up. It's peeling right there. I don't know if you can see it. That is some terrible quality control. Uh, email Panini on that, honestly. That's what I would do. I'd email them. But it's still not a, not a bad card. I mean, email them. Send them an email. See what they could do about it. Because that's, that's pretty bad. But... Jets. That is going to uh, Chuck. That is going to Chuck. Nice. Overall, um, <laughs> I mean, if you got, I don't know. I heard that you could get playbooks out of these playbook megas. So if you got a playbook out of the out of one of these megas, yeah, it'd be it'd be really worth it. Um, as far as these, or if you get an auto, as far as like your standard mega like this. It's not bad, but I, I wish that there was more cards that you get in each Mega. That's really the mixed review I heard was that it's not bad. It's just lack of cards. You only get 24 or 20. You only even get 20. So, And the one of them, the main hit, is chipped. But that's Panini for you, classic Panini. Anyways, that is a break. Um, I will top of these, but that is a break. Thank you all for joining. Um, next week I will do a break with another playbook mega, so, see ya.